Hi, this video is for my electronic students who might want to use a multimeter a basic model like this to test a diode. This is a discrete diode, it's a 1N 4001, by the way that's not blood, that's marker pen, or maybe a bridge rectifier like this one. How we can use a multimeter and uh, the principle behind it. Let's just go back to basics for a moment. Here's the diode. Anode and cathode, yes, cathode is spelt with a C, but the symbol we use a K. And when we've got the diode forward biased, the current can flow, so we'll have a voltage drop. But if we turn the polarity of the battery around and try to have current flow, because it's reverse biased, it would act as an open switch or an open circuit. There's a function built into many meters, uh, a diode test. So that's the one that we're actually going to use. So I would expect, as you probably would, a diode will drop something like about 0.7-ish. Okay, so we need to get it forward biased. Uh, the grey stripe, remember, is the cathode. So let's have the positive side on this way, like that. Okay, and as you can see, that diode appears to be good. We've got the expected, or within the expected range, uh, when it's forward bias so let's reverse bias it sure enough uh, it's well the one doesn't mean um, doesn't mean an actual value it just means it's out of limits beyond range um, which is what you expect because like I said earlier it's like an open circuit but if you've got something like this bridge rectifier that's basically just four diodes in a single package if you have a look, I mean you can check the data sheet, but this one says the DC output or the rectified supply is on that pin there, or that lug there, so that's the positive one. So that's that. Okay, now if you were to check the data sheet, you'll find that that's the negative, positive, and then the AC. We know that there's going to be a diode, a diode a voltage drop across there. It's just the same as a circuit, so let's just confirm that one's okay. So, expecting about 0.5, there we go, and to confirm that it blocks in reverse, you would do that, okay, that's exactly what I would expect. And so this time we could say check this one up here, forward bias, 0.5, just like this one, and then you do the reverse as well, I'm not going to do it now. Uh, and then we could test that one. So sure enough that one works and once again you test that one in reverse. Okay, so you work all your way around and you can do them in reverse as well just to confirm. You could even, if you wanted to go from here to here, so you'd be expecting about one volt. And sure enough that works. 